for a fast-charging, ultra-responsive stylus for your iPad, meet the 2X Fast Charge Active Stylus Pen, designed for 2018 to 2025 Apple iPads. Take your creativity and productivity to the next level. Click the link in the video description to shop now on Amazon. Welcome back to PC Gaming Pulse. I'm your host, and today we're talking about a card that's been getting a lot of attention in the gaming world. The Gigabyte RTX 5070T Eagle OC Ice SFF. Now, this is a powerful piece of hardware, but with a price tag that's hovering above $900, it's got to be worth it, right? I'm not so sure. Let's take a closer look at what makes this card tick. The Eagle OC Ice SFF is built on NVIDIA's latest architecture, with 8 GB of GDDR6 memory and 1408 CUDA cores, giving it some serious processing power. But when you factor in the price, it starts to get a little shaky. I mean, we're talking about an RTX 5070T that's competing directly with AMD's RX 9070 XD, which is performing similarly in many of our tests, and yet this card is still going for top dollar. And let's not forget, there's no Founders Edition RTX 5070T to make things easier. It's like Nvidia is playing a game of, let the manufacturers have all the fun. But what really gets my attention is the performance per dollar ratio on this card. When you compare it to other MSRP models or even AMD's offerings, it just doesn't hold up. I mean, we're talking about a card that's getting destroyed in benchmarks by its competitors, and yet it's still going for over $900. Now I know some of you might be thinking, but what about the aesthetics? What about the RGB lighting? And let me tell you, this card does look pretty sweet. But at the end of the day, that's not enough to justify a price tag that's just plain steep. So, if you're in the market for an RTX 5070T and you're willing to pay top dollar, I suppose the Eagle OC Ice SFF is worth considering. But if you're looking for a good value, or if you want to stay within your budget, there are definitely better options out there. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in to PC Gaming Pulse, and we'll catch you in the next video.